welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green. So today I'm going to be taking callers like I always do and answering questions and doing clearings. If I call your area code, please let me know. Where are you calling from and what is your first name? I don't have that information. I just have a list of numbers of people waiting to, um, to connect. If you have a question, please have one question ready, one very specific question ready. If you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, I just need their first name, their connection to you, and um, any conversation or communication you would want to have with that loved one. So I'm going to just do this right here. Hopefully that's going to help. I'm going to do that right there. Okay. I want to say, for those of you listening, I was having, I'm, I'm still having a bang moment. I, I cut my own bangs again and they're, they're very crooked. If I just would have waited until Tuesday, I would be fine because Tuesday I go in, but you know, it was, they were long and I just had to chop them myself and they're a little, they're a little crooked. Why I don't notice this until I'm on camera, I have no idea. It's crazy. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Genevieve. Hi, Mimi. Okay, those are all my YouTube peeps. I love you guys so much. If you are on YouTube, please say hello in the chat. Tell me where you are from. And if you have a question or a clearing you would like. Also, um, um, also, if you are on, uh, I can't, I, I lost, I lost it. I was just going to say something and I lost it. Hey, Fawn. Okay. So tonight I will be, um, a guest on the Peter G show. It starts at 8 PM central time. And Peter talks about a number of different things on his show. He talks about everything from, I mean, just everything. It's a great show. If you haven't watched or listened to his show, you should. His show airs on YouTube, Facebook, Rumble, and a number of other venues. So if you if you would like to join this evening, um, it starts at 8 p.m. Central. And you can just go to my Facebook page. The link for the Peter G show is there. And it, um, I believe the show is for two, maybe two hours. I should be a little bit more of a detail oriented person, shouldn't I? I really should. Okay. It starts at eight and it will go as long as it goes. And Peter is giving away two readings with me this evening. So you can call in and get a reading, not just one question. You can do a reading. Um, what else do I need to say? Hey, Stevie, my little bug, bug butt, sweet pea. Um, as most of you know, Stevie is my youngest brother that I just adore. So now that I give him a shout out on the show, he calls, he calls me and he starts singing songs to me. I think he wants me to tell you guys what songs he's singing. Um, but yeah, he's, he cracks me up. Hey, unconscious wisdom. Uh, I'm happy to see you. Thank you for joining us here. He cracks me up. He just starts singing and singing and I'm like, uh, 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 <laughs> he's so adorable though. Um, and hey, Jessica, I know Jessica listens to my show later on in the evening. And Matthew, there's Michelle and David. Um, Michelle and David, I'm thinking two weeks, two weeks should be between two and three weeks, I should be in Florida. Um, to be able to say hi, hopefully all things going well, but there are a lot of flights getting canceled everywhere on every airline. Oh, 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 oh. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay, unconscious, unconscious wisdom, you correct me the F up because he said, I guess you could say you did a bang job. I did do a bang job. I don't think I did a good bang job, though. <laughs> Oh, I love you people. You make me so happy. You make me so, so happy. Um, today is going to be a goofy, goofy day. If you're not about like laughing and joking and having fun, please um, let's get you there. Let's get you there today. Today is going to be a good day. Huh, so everybody has like stuff in their life, right? We're all we're all just going through stuff. And a lot of times people have no idea the stuff we're going through because we kind of we keep it to ourselves. We don't tell a lot of people. And um and we don't have a number of, of different reasons. Um so what I really uh, what I guess I'm saying here is you know be kind with people, be patient with people. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know what happened to them the day before, the week before. Um, try to be understanding. And, um, you know, one of my things in life that I've always tried to do is if I can make somebody laugh, whether I'm checking out at the store or um, it, talking to somebody, if I can make them laugh, I feel like I've done my job because it, laughter it, we don't in today's world we just don't have enough laughter number one and number two it can change like that little bit of laughter can change so much in a person's life hey Sal um and a lot of times it might be the only time that person laughs during that day so I tell a lot of stupid corny jokes at my own expense, sometimes at the, the expense of, of whatever is around me. But because I, I understand that our energetic levels can change like that, just like that, they can change. So if we're, um, I was listening to it, watching a video the other day, and it said, if, if you have like a minute of anger, it can take you up to seven hours to turn that around. Your body is on that heightened um, emotions for like up to seven hours. So if we have a moment of laughter, right? If we can laugh for one minute, we can then turn it around also. So if you have the opportunity to make, to tell a joke, to make somebody laugh, please take that opportunity. The universe will always bring it back around to you. And if you love somebody, tell them. Maybe because they don't know. People assume people know that they are loved. They don't always know they're loved. Maybe because um, it's something they need in that moment. Or maybe you should just tell them because what if you never get the opportunity to say it? You know, what if something happens and you never, you know, you missed that opportunity to say it. Nobody's ego, nobody's pride should be so great that they miss the opportunity to tell somebody that they love them. It's and and even if you feel like it, it might not turn out the way you want it to, who cares? Who cares? Love, love is never lost, never, ever lost. It is shared. It is expanded. It is um, felt. But it is never, ever lost. Never. And even, even if you're letting somebody go out of your life, you have to let them know how much you love them because life is not easy. I don't care what it looks like on anybody's face or how they show up.
gosh, spirit is really hitting me today. Life is not easy for um, people. You might look at them and think their life is easy, but it's not always easy. Everybody has very difficult things that they go through and they hide it and they don't talk about it. And, um, and sometimes your words of kindness and love can be something that really helps a person. So let's go to the first caller and spirit. We can zoom this out of, out of here right now. Zoom. Uh, here we go. 814. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. Hi, this is Amy and I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Hey, Amy. Thank you so much for calling in today. How can I help you? I am calling in. I had called Oh, about a month ago about a job interview that I had, and I don't believe that I got a position. Oh, sweetie, I'm so, so sorry. So I was kind of seeing, kind of seeing what you were getting for any other positions. Okay, so first, job positions um, for me. First, um, let me do a clearing or a healing on. Um, the perfect position coming in for everybody who's looking for work right now. And I get a no. So let's clear that. Um, Amy, one of the things I'm getting is um, there's a stall. Like even in me getting information for you right now, there's a stall. Like I'm, I'm listening. I'm, I'm like, okay, come on, bring it on. Let's go pop it in. And usually like anybody who, who has had a session with me, anybody who, who watches the show nine times out of 10 information just pops. It just is there. And for some reason there's something. So Amy, I'm going to do a personal check in on you. If that's okay. I'm going to just say Amy's clear. I get a no. We're going to clear that to yes. Holy fudge sickles, Amy. <laughs> Holy guac of fudge sickles. <laughs> Amy is unclear. Okay, let's clear that to an Yeah, Amy, there is some stuff, um, some energy with you that is definitely slowing you down and blocking your your stuff. So let's get that cleared back away. Okay, Amy. Let's get some of that cleared up. And as we get that cleared up, as that heaviness um releases because a lot of people don't realize i i get information from your angels okay but i also get information by being in your energy not in your energy but your energy when it's open and bright and clear those messages fly to me when there are walls up or your energy is a little heavier or your energy is um Feeling um is somebody trying to block me from no 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 getting no. another job? Nope. I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that. And here's what I'm gonna say. Let's not go there. Let's look at it this way. Let's say this. Okay. When we're in a situation where we're looking for work and finances can be a little bit strapped and we have um a lot of stress and or pressure our energy starts to change. We're not that happy-go-lucky, free type of person, right? So we have to start, um, we have to start uh, getting back into that place where we're confident again. And um, Amy, I, one thing I'm hearing for you is you should only be, if you're going to watch or listen to something, you should be listening to comedies or watching comedies right now. Anything that makes you laugh will break up this energy, but we're clearing it away. But not only for you, for anybody listening, re-listening, watching, re-watching, I want everybody to do well. Like there's, no, there's, there should be, just because one person wins, it doesn't mean another person loses. We're all playing our own game with ourselves, if I can say that correctly, um, and which doesn't make sense to, to some people. People think it's a competition. There's no competition. You're you. Nobody is going to get what's meant for you. Nobody's going to be able to take from you what is meant for you. So 
I, I don't care if it's a relationship. I don't care if it's um, work. I don't care if it's money. If it's meant for you, it's coming to you. It's it's going to be yours. Um, now, they might prevent you from getting okay, the wrong I job. Confident. I wasn't. They might prevent you from getting the wrong job or a job that might not serve your highest purpose, but they won't prevent you from having a job that is yours. And I think your energy is a little bit murky or heavy right now because of being in a place where you are looking for work and it is such a stressful thing. So, Amy, I'm going to tell you all things going the way they should. I feel like within a month and a half, you should be gainfully employed, meaning having the job being accepted. Now, I know sometimes we get stuck on a position. We we see a position, we really want it, and we, we don't keep looking or keep going. I'm going to tell you. For oh, I haven't given up. No, 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 I'm no, still no. putting out there. I'm not. I didn't give up or I didn't um, throw in the towel. Or, um, right. Of course not. But uh, here's the way I'm going to say it. Every day send out two to three different things, even if it's not something you want. And look, search under different things because I think there's something that is, uh, I, th I think there is something, you might be looking for the right thing in the wrong place or the, yeah, the right thing in the wrong place. And what, what I'm going to say is within a month and a half, you should be gainfully employed. I do think you need to, and I know that this is a, a weird way of saying it. And I don't, I don't know what they're trying to say, but you need to look at a different way of doing it, which can mean don't get, well, for first, don't get stuck on one thing. Keep no matter what, I even tell people, once you're accepted to a position or you're interviewing and you know you have this position, keep looking because you don't, once you have a position, that better one might be just around the corner because once we're employed, we have that confidence and that energy and something that pays more, does better, might pop in. Now, the second thing that I'm going to say to you is, and I say this all the time, and I know people don't like it, especially when they're looking for work and they feel like they need work. Now, if you can't find a job, refrigerate our job. If you cannot find a job, make a job. Offer to go buy people's groceries for money. Because once you have money coming in, and even though it's not a lot of money, once you have money coming in, it opens that energy again for money. I'm not saying that that's what you're going to do. I'm saying that there's something coming in. Amy, you know what? I'm, I'm going to say this, and I I hope that you're not offended by this. And I, I don't know if I'm going to say it in the right way. I, 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 and I, I'm just going to say, don't, don't go anyplace. I did mute you just for a second. What I'm going to say to you is you have to get outside of your box. And this is the reason I muted you because they want to say something that I feel like you would say, but I, but I'm not in a box, but I, I'm, I'm open. You have to come outside of your box and you have to look at the way I'm hearing the word progression, the way the progression is going. So sometimes we want this, we want to be in this situation and we want to do it this way. And the universe and our angels are saying, but look at this, but look at this, but look at this. And what does that mean for you specifically? And I'm trying to get them to nail this to nail it down for you and what that means for you specifically. And I think what that means for you specifically is you have to look at different types of opportunities, whether this means a, a work from home opportunity, a different type of company, or taking all the skills that you have, listing them out and figuring out what other type of work you can do. Now, I know the East Coast, from what I've read, might be a little bit more difficult to 
you find the, the best position at because parts of the East Coast might not be completely reopen yet. But there are so many companies that are allowing people to work remotely. Um, Tesla, um, Apple, um, ASX, there are, there are literally, if you put in like Google job search remote, you will find a ton of stuff and you can pick, pick your price and you can be an independent contractor and make X amount for each specific position. Now that doesn't have to be your forever position, but it might really surprise you if you go and look at that as to how much you might enjoy that down the line and don't 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 put yourself in the box of this is my title this is what i do and this is how i do it you need to open that up a little bit and i i really do hope that is helpful um i really do hope that is helpful i'm going to go to caller 512 512 how are you today Hi, good afternoon, Tony. Hey. My name is Yvonne, and I'm calling from Texas. Hey, Yvonne, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Excellent. Good. How can I help you today? Thank you for taking my call. Oh, thank you for calling in. I, um, oh, you're very welcome. Thank you. Um, I'm calling to see if you see a job in my near future, one that's really good for me. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's a. I do see a job in your near future. One that's really good for you. <laughs> um, I feel like your next job is not going to be your best job, but the job after that is going to be your best job. I feel like these jobs are going to piggyback each other. I feel like you're going to get a position. You're going to be there for about a month, but while you're there, you're you're kind of looking at something else or interviewing for something else. And then you end up um, tra tra transitioning over to the other place. I do feel like you're going to know about this very soon. So wherever you, okay. So where you land is not where you are going to stay. I hope that makes sense to you. You're going to land one place and it's going to be your launching pad to the next place. So you're very, again, just to be clear, your very next job is not going to be your your like forever job or a, even a long lasting job. And that's okay. Listen, you know, people say to me, isn't it wrong to take a job if I know I'm only going to be there for a month? No. And here's why. And here's why. That month time is a trial period for the company and for you. You're going in and figuring out if this is a good fit for you. And they're figuring out if this is a good fit for them. Okay. That's why they call in a lot of companies. They have a probationary period because they're figuring it out that this way they say, oh, it's a 90 day probationary period. Okay, we get that. But we can have a 90 day probationary period too. And if something better comes along, there is nothing wrong with taking the better option. So I am going to tell you that it is time for you to just the next thing that comes, don't Think about it as this is the end game. This is it. Um, and it's not when you take this position, you're going to know you don't want to be there forever, but it's going to open up a door for you. And you are going to end up in about a month's time or within a month's time finding another position and taking that position. And that is going to be an amazing position for you. Okay, love? Okay, thank you. Do you see that it's a temporary job, like from a temporary um, agency? Uh, the first one or the second one? The first one. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay, because I've been putting in a lot of submitting my resume everywhere. 
Yeah. And you know what? Your area, yeah, your area is very, very flooded with people right now. A lot of new people coming in. And again, I'm going to say, even if the, the, the position you take the first position or the second position is a remote position um, because your area is a little overpopulated, don't be afraid to do that. Don't be afraid to do that work from home thing or re working remotely thing because um, I feel like that might be a good alternative for either the first or the second position. And I do feel like you need to uh, mm -hmm. keep all, all the options open because your area is like, there are a lot of people coming to your area right now. Um, and sometimes when, when we do that remote job, we can, um, actually make a little bit more money than what our area is paying. So keep keep an open mind okay. and definitely work with an uh, agency. But I feel like the second position is going to be a permanent long-term position. Okay, love? Awesome. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful day. You too. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm going to go directly to the next caller, 860. Mm -hmm. 860, hello, how are you? Hi, hi, Tony, it's Amla, how are you? <laughs> Amla, I'm doing great, it's wonderful to hear from you. How are you today? I just wanted to say congratulations before I forget on your TV show, I want to tune in, I'm, I'm so happy for you. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah, Peter's a really nice guy. I just, um, a friend of mine, Jennifer, um, set kind of set this up for me and uh, Jennifer Modette Perry um, set this up for me and did the intro and so I'm I'm super excited to be on his show tonight it's, um, I'm, I'm gonna be watching I'm gonna definitely be watching good. you but I, yes. I do have a question that I'm just yes. I wanted to tell you before I forget you mm -hmm. know I'm really really happy for you and Thank I read you. that you have a seventh book out I didn't know that. Good for you. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Thank That's you. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. Of course, fellow author. Ah, yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because cool. I'm love. What can you tell everybody the name of your book? Um, okay, so I have two books of my own and two collaboratives. Two. First one is called I with a View, like a body part, E Y E with a View. It's on my website, amlaspeaks.com. And the second book came out last year, 21 of June, and it's Amla Speaks 365, and they're 365 reflections and insights from me. I love that. Beautiful. Yeah. So everybody, if you're looking for a good book to read, Amla Speaks and I, I with a view. Um, with a view. With a view. Yep. yep. And the, they're on her website, Amla Speaks. And you can go there and check it out and see if it's something you might be interested in. Okay, yeah. Amla, really quick. Hold on a second. Okay. If you so are I watching on one of the oh. stations that does a 30-minute show, thank you so much for watching. You can go to YouTube to watch the second half of this.